Hey guys, this is Rutger from Antwerp. Today we have another episode of recording in Ableton Live. I've used uh, something of the compressor, the expensive, the extensive uh, features of the compressor, and it's called Sidechain. Sidechain lets you change the amplitude of one sound by the amplitude of the other sound. In this example, I've made a set up a beat and a bass, and we will change the volume of the bass by the volume of the beat, of the hi-hat in specific. Let's first listen to the beat. This is it. And then the bass. As you can hear, it's quite a boring sound right now. So what to do, we go to the bass, and then at the audio effects, we can change the, get a com uh, default compressor, and just put it on this lane. Here it is. It's good to first just the view to this one, then you can see the sound changing over time. Let's put the ratio at max, the attack on the lowest and release also on the lowest. It's just for uh, educationary uh, purposes, normally you wouldn't do it like this. And then we select the sidechain and we can ch get the input of the beat. And the good thing is, let's lower the volume a bit. The good thing is it's a MIDI instrument, so that means the, all the sounds are separated. And let's use the hi-hat closed post mixer and put the volume up again. And then now we can lower the threshold. It's a bit too low maybe. The mouse is not doing nice stuff. As you can now hear, the volume of the bass changes whenever the beat changes, the hi-hat hits. Now we can also increase the attack time a bit. Not too much. And the release maybe. To create a nice pumping sound. And we can also change the dry wet of the side chain. Make it more nice to hear. Maybe the ratio a bit. Sounds pretty good, right? So what we did, we changed the compressor. With the compressor, the side chain feature, we uh, introduced some rhythm in the simple bass. Bass was just one note each bar, but now it's uh, with this nice uh, moving sound, and you can do a lot of things like this with it. For now, it's good like this. Okay, hope you enjoyed the lesson. It's really it's easy to use feature, but it's difficult to uh, like most of the features to know when to use it, if it's good in musical context or if it's just. Uh, not useful.